instructions, we're going to start just a little clock in our time. Would you like to say four? So we're rolling fully by 4.30. Yeah. I'm so glad everybody's here. I'm so glad that you can make it. I'm so glad that we have the children that we do up here. Um, they're all pretty nervous because we actually have been doing this for eight days. Uh, it's kind of scary, but like I reminded them, the reason we do this is to get together and to have fun and to celebrate Christmas. It's not to make a perfect production or to do the most amazing work of our lives. It's to get together and celebrate with people you really enjoy and maybe get to know someone you don't know as well and go on from there. So, having said that, it's getting quieter, so I think we're close. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. yeah. See, it is really fun! <laughs> At one point in the show, oh, there I am, Casey, thank you. At one point in the show, we will have you light candles. The gentleman will come from behind and help with this. And then um, at that point, we're all going to sing together on cue, of course, which you will see from me. And if you don't know the words to Silent Night, there are hymnals on every table, and it is page 65. So if you would like to get that ready, that's just fine, too. We're just going to sing the first verse, and we'll sing it twice through together. But, before we begin our show, in this wonderful room that's so full of love, I say we start with a Christmas carol. So, children, you ready to sing back there, too? Okay? All right, ready? We're just going to do one that's going to be pretty much what everybody knows, so. Oh, come on, ye
closed in 15 minutes. We're open seven days a week for your shopping convenience. And as always, thank you for shopping at Target.
kind of this take your top line. <laughs> I totally space that we had men in some costumes on Center Island today. I accept your apology. Oh, uh, hey, this is Biff. <coughs> and this is Frank. I'm the painter. Biff, dude, long time to see. Frank, what's up? Yes, yeah. You gentlemen know each other? Know each other. We're like tight, dude.
Burglars have a skull. You think it's burglars? I don't know, there's one way to find out. <laughs> What's that? So listen to us, we just got off the end and this is a way we can hear things going on inside the stove. <laughs> well, there's some guy named Manuel. He must be a part of that hombre because there's a bunch of hostages. And you're talking about, I heard some girls talking, and I heard some other people talking about how much profit they're going to make. It's profit. It's a profit, all right. Should we bust in? Well, maybe we ought to wait. Now, if they take, we bust in, we might take the girls as hostages. Okay, no need to hurry. I think this is going to take nice and slow. Thank you. 
We are so free rolling. <laughs> we have never put this all together. <laughs> Mr. Ebenezer, we have been told that the deputies have heard discussions about 
Jesus, angels, and Mary all coming from the source. That's impossible. We keep, we try very hard to keep religion out of Christmas. <laughs> How do you do that? Well, it's not easy. But we at Target are committed to communicating the real, <laughs> the real meaning of the holidays. It's about buying shopping. Know that you can save forty percent throughout the entire store until December twenty-fourth. <laughs> Well, it's coming up around the time now when we're going to have to end this situation and bust in. So what's your next move, Deputy? Well, I guess we're just going to have to break in now. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. A burglary, in, oh, a burglary gone wrong, and the deputies are just about to end a tense standoff. This is Candy Little reporting for Big Stuff News.
system. A Berkeley in progress? I think not. This is Candy Little, morning for everyone here, saying Merry Christmas to all. And do you hear what I hear?
perfect because he not only makes sure that he gets here, he makes sure that a lot of other the kids get here too. He's old enough to drive now, so he could bring them with him. So it was really, I really rely on him, and I really appreciate him. Thank you.
now, Jordan Meyer. Yeah. So not look down anymore. Jordan is just like this wonderful, steady presence. <laughs> that you know what? The show would have a huge hole if he wasn't a part of it. And every year I just celebrate him being here with us. Thank you, Jordan. Always here because you just always do, Garrett Brown. <laughs> Another one who used to be this tall who's now this tall. Garrett is the guy who says, "No, I'm not going to be in this Christie," and I hand him a part. And who had his lines memorized? Garrett. <laughs> But he does a good job tonight, and I really appreciate having Garrett here. Thanks, Garrett. So probably, boy, that belt was tough for you. Yeah. <laughs> so another part of the tall squad that I think of them, Jordan, uh, Josh Meyer. Thank you so much, Jacob. Brittany! 
Kelly Fednick, thank you for coming. A wonderful person and we're glad to have her with us and she just had a lot of fun backstage so I think it's only fitting the last two we have are kind of like a Jake and John they are a dynamic duo they play off each other like no one else they can really finish each other's sentences even maybe they decide to talk sometimes they just communicate other ways <laughs> oh not always appropriately no. <laughs> And they, I've known them for years now, and you know what? They're just rays of sunshine to everyone, and I'm really glad that every year they come back. Erica and Cassidy. Magnificent food here. We have two other people we have to thank. Uh, one, he had the very first line of the play this year, which almost never happens. So, a big thanks to Casey Schmidt on soundboard and lights over there. And, as we said earlier, some of this came together only a week ago. And we could not have done any of this without Christy Yellow as a director. She does a fantastic job keeping us all together. So just a little bit of